Hey there, my name is Julie Faye Fan Balzer, and today I'm going to share one of my favorite little scan and cut secrets with you. I'm going to show you how to ungroup an existing file. For this technique, I'm going to be using a wireless activated Scan and Cut 2 and my tablet. You could use your computer instead, and if you don't have a wirelessly activated Scan and Cut, you could certainly do this technique using a little USB thumb drive. So this is one of the built-in designs from my Scan and Cut. It's a little Christmas ornament, and it has this hole right at the top. Now, because I cut this out of felt, I don't really want that hole, because I think that when I hang it, it's going to stretch, it might pull through. So now I'm going to show you how to get rid of that hole from a built-in design. From the home screen, I'm going to choose Pattern, and then I'm going to go into the little icon right there. And you can see there's one here that looks like holiday designs. So there's a little Halloween and a little present, so I'm going to click on that. And here is an ornament, and that's what I used. And I'm going to say, OK, I don't need to change the size at all. And here is the piece that you saw cut out with that hole in it. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to say I only want one of them. I'm going to say set, and here it is right on my screen. Now, there's no way, unfortunately, in the editing for me to get rid of that little hole, but I found a trick, which I'm going to go ahead and show you, which is I'm going to use the save button right here, and I'm going to save it, and I'm going to save it wirelessly to Scan and Cut Canvas, so it's going to tell me that it's saving it, and it's going to say that it's successful, so I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to switch right over to my tablet to find that file. So I'm here in Scan and Cut Canvas, and I'm going to click on My Projects. And then you can see right there is my beautiful ornament that we sent over. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the Editing icon. And if I click on it, you can see it's just a single file. Now if I want to make it not a single file, I'm simply going to go down. If I click on these three little lines down here, what will happen is it will bring up the menu that on your computer is normally right at the top. I'm going to go ahead and choose Edit. And then right there under grouping, you can see this is the ungrouping icon. I'm going to choose that. And now you can see a dotted line has come up around not only the ornament, but the inside bit as well. So if I click off of it, and then I go ahead and click back on, I can drag and grab just the ornament. The hole is left behind, and I can click on that hole right there. And I can click on the trash can icon, and now it's gone. And my file is ready for me to send right back. So I'm going to go ahead and push this arrow push the download button and now I'll have the option of how I want to save it I'm going to say scan and cut transfer I'm going to click that button it is going to send that file right back to my machine it says it's ready and we're ready to go back to the machine and cut it so now that I've transferred the file I'm going to hit the home button to go back to the home screen I'm going to choose pattern and then here is the icon that allows me to grab what I just sent back to myself and there it is there's my beautiful ornament with absolutely no hole in it so now we're ready to say okay and we're ready to cut So I'm going to go ahead and unload the mat, and now I'm ready to pull the felt back. And here is my awesome ornament without a hole. So you can see with the original and the new one, super duper easy, a little bit of ungrouping to customize your designs. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at ballsdesigns.typepad.com and of course the Scanning Gut website at scanningcut.com. Dot com.